so this is the video or uh, recording for the explanation of the problem which we tried solving today but uh, some of you had uh, requested to send a video for it because some of you did not understand since the y2 board was going up and down so the question was to find the dft for unit step signal unit step signal is given by u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 but we have to find 4 point dft of unit step 4 point as in there will be only 4 samples in the output frequency signal so what are we going to do is we are going to limit our input signal to length 4 we have seen through that MATLAB program that if the value of n is less than the number of samples in the input signal then there will be aliasing that is there will be loss of information of loss of data we do not want that so n has to be either equal to the number of samples in the input signal that is your time domain sequence x of n or it can be greater now since we are taking 4 point dft so x of n i will consider to be 4 once where this is n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. Now let us write down the original expression first always the first step always has to be the original expression as it is. Right? Now let us modify the expression according to this n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by n. Now we have already derived the twiddle matrix so we can use the twiddle matrix 4 cross 4 twiddle matrix to evaluate so a 4 cross 4 twiddle matrix is 1, 1, 1, 1. All of you please memorize the twiddle matrix. It is very important. Multiplied by 1, 1, 1, 1. So on this multiplication, what do we get is 4 0 0 0 I am assuming that you are uh, aware or you are acquainted with matrix multiplication so on multiplying consider the first row and this column so after multiplying and adding 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 2 plus 1 into 1 3 plus 1 into 1 4 right and then the next row 1 into 1 1 minus j minus 1 plus j so after adding the answer will be 0 similarly here 1 minus 1 will be 0 again plus 1 minus 1 will be 0 even here 1 minus 1 will be 0 plus j minus j will be 0 so our x of k is 4 0 0 0 0 now what does this mean if i plot the magnitude response i will plot it here itself there is no imaginary part so there will not be any phase response for this signal phase response is all zeros but there will be magnitude response magnitude response ye aise kuch aega. for k is equal to 0 the magnitude is 4 for k is equal to 1 magnitude is 0 for k is equal to 2 magnitude is 0 and for k is equal to 3 magnitude is 0 so what is this k k is an index to the frequency like n is an index to a time when we write x of n when we draw it in this way n x of n 
this is a unit step signal right. So, when we draw it this way and here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. When we draw it this way does this mean that this sample is at 0th second, this sample is at 1st second, this sample is at 2nd second, second. Does it mean that way? No, it does not mean that way. It does not give the time, actual time. It just is an index to the sample. We can say this is 0th sample, this is the first sample, this is the second sample, this is the third sample and this is the fourth sample in time domain. Similarly, k is an index to frequency. So, this is 0th sample in frequency domain, first sample in frequency domain, second sample in frequency domain, third sample in frequency domain and so on. So, what is the frequency at these points? We have divided entire 2 pi car range into n samples and the index is given by k. So, omega is equal to 2 pi k by n. In our case, it will be 2 pi k by 4. Right? Now, in this case, k is equal to 0. So, if I substitute k is equal to 0 here, what will I have? Omega is equal to 0. Matlab this frequency here, it is 0 radians. So, at 0 radians, what is the frequency component, amplitude of the frequency component? It is 4. Then at this point, k is equal to 1. So, if I substitute k is equal to 1 here, what will have? Pi by 2. So, at pi by 2, it is 0. The amplitude of the sample is, frequency sample is 0. What does that mean? There is no frequency component of frequency pi by 2 radians in u of n. Then k is equal to 2. So, it is k, if, sub, if I substitute k is equal to 2 here, omega will be equal to pi, pi radians. So, again there is no frequency component of pi radians in the time domain sequence this. And lastly, if I substitute 3 here, it will be 3 pi by 2. So, there is no frequency component of the frequency 3 pi by 2 radians in this signal. So, consa is a frequency component, if a k that is at 0 radians. So, it is a DC signal. What does DC signal mean? There is no change in the signal. As you can see, absolutely there is no change in the signal. The signal is constant throughout. If any signal is constant throughout, that means there is no change in amplitudes. If there is no change in amplitude, then there is no frequency. Hence, only for omega is equal to 0 radians, we have a sample of maximum magnitude 4. Baki sub frequency it is 0. Even if we take 8 point DFT of this signal, we will have first sample as 8, Baki sub will be 0. Is it understood? Kindly let me know if there is any doubt. So, this is 4 point DFT of unit step signal. Now, your homework for the next lecture is find DFT of the signal, 4 point DFT of the signal, x of n is equal to a raised to n u of n, right? So, a raised to n u of n, kaise karoge? Since we want to find out 4 point DFT, right? So, there have to be only 4 samples in the input signal. So, for n is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, if I substitute n is equal to 0 here, I will have 1. Then n is equal to 1, if I substitute I will have a, then a square and a cube. This is a signal, find out its 4 point DFT.